Hey, this is John with Estimator, introducing another new tool that we've come up with called Issue Tracker. Now, Issue Tracker is a great markup tool that's built inside of SketchUp. So, if you ever had a time where you wanted to, um, don't forget to change this or mark something up where you're maybe you're working with a colleague and you're sharing a model and you want that person to uh, make a make an adjustment or a change, or maybe you're in your own models and you want to, you know, not forget to go back and fix something. We have issue tracker, and this is what it looks like in here. So let's just bring up a little something in here. Uh, this is just a simple little shed example, but of course, any SketchUp model. So let's say that um, in this header, for example, we, we need to beef that header up. Let's say we just simply tag that tag, and it'll stick right to any surface that we put it onto. So what we've got is we got location and category and issue. Now location and category, <clears throat> they're optional, but they're completely customizable lists. So let's just say that in this case, we're at the lower level. And then again, these are lists of locations that uh, I've created to put in there from the start, but you can completely customize this list for your industry or whatever you want to use it for. Uh, same for category. Uh, this can be any categories that work in your workflow. So let's just say uh, this category is header. Um, issue is to change header to two by 10, for example. Click OK. Now what that's doing is it's creating a, a snapshot of that issue for the report that we're going to show you here in a minute. So let's uh, let's add another issue. Let's just say that um, you don't like the look of this OSB texture that you want to make it look more like plywood. So again, it fits to any surface that we're putting this on. I'm just going to click it here and say um, in this case it's main level and it's material is the category. So we could say change material to plywood, for example. Maybe you've got a different texture you'd rather see that in. And we'll click OK. Uh, let's do one more. Let's say that the slab down here that we want it to be thicker. Right now it's four inches. Let's say we want to say uh, foundation. Um, let's put it in as slab. And the issue would be to um, change thickness to five inches for whatever reason. So click OK. So now we've marked this thing up for uh, these things that we want to, to uh, correct. So at any time we can go up to our extensions and right now I've got the trial version on here. Now in this, in, in this um, uh, toolbox here or in this menu, you're able to put your company information in there. Uh, this is much like the reporting and estimator. Uh, you can put your company information in there, which is global, and what this will do is actually save with your uh, with your SketchUp uh, plugin itself. Editing job information, this information is stored with the uh, file itself, so it's just specific to the job you're working on. Uh, this is adding an issue tracker here. You can edit the uh, issue tracker that you uh, added. Um, you could export it uh, to the data to a CSV file, which you really don't need to do because I'm going to show you this nice little report. So when you click on View Report, what it's going to do is open up a browser in here. You can see it's branded with your logo, and this is the uh, company information in here, and this would be the job location, which I hadn't put anything in there yet. But you see here how it's creating the, we get the 3D thumbnail, the little vignette here, along with the issue. And it puts four to a page. So you can simply, using your typical uh, print or save as a PDF, you could print this right from here, Control P on a Windows, um, print it to your PDF um, uh, maker so that you can save this as a PDF to send somebody. So the cool thing about this is that after you've uh, fixed something, let's say that you've, you've knocked out this issue and uh, this issue, you can just delete them and then run that report again and view report and you'll see we're just down to the one issue and it's going to it's going to name these issues um, in a sequential order so once you've uh, done the next issue it's going to keep adding to uh, the total um, issue numbers so you can get an idea for how many issues you had on that project so that's issue tracker and uh, I think it's gonna be a great little tool for, no matter what industry that you're in anybody that's working on a SketchUp model that needs sort of a markup tool uh, inside of SketchUp can benefit from this so thank you for watching